Hello and welcome to the tutorial, how to create an animated card with, shader sprite, and CCG kit. In this tutorial, we will also use the artworks dwarf from Critical Hit. As you can see, the picture have distortion, fire and winds. In just one sprite, the result is fast and very useful. Let's create our shader. First, we need to set up the artwork into sprites. Use your favorite software to split the artwork. Save the pictures into PMG format with transparent. Now we can start creating our shader. We need to create a material into the project. Share the created material to use your own material and create the shader sprite shader. Add the shader into the material like this and the material to your sprite renderer for a live preview. Great, the material and the shader are now connect. Let's create our first node, the build shader. Link the created shader to the build shader. Now, the shader will be automatically saved. We need to use the two artworks, the background and the dwarf. Right click, go to initialize and select new texture. Right click on the new texture node and select duplicate. Drag and drop the background into the first new texture node. And the dwarf sprite into the second new texture node. Now we need to blend the two sprites into one with blend. Right click, go to RGB with two RGB and select blend. Connect the RGB output from the background to the first input of the blend node. Connect the dwarf new texture to the second blend input, like this. Connect the output from blend to the build shader. Now the two sprites is set up into the final result. Let's add the moving cloud effect on the background. Create or duplicate a new texture node. Drag and drop a cloud texture on the new texture node. Now, we will add an addition node, in order to add the cloud texture on the background. Right click RGB, with two RGB, and select Addition. Connect the cloud texture to the second input of the addition node. Connect the background to the first input of the addition node. Connect the output of the addition node to the first input of the blend node. The preview node will be automatically removed. Now we will add a wind movement. For that, we will use the UV of the cloud new texture. Right click, UV, animated and select animated movement UV. Connect the UV to the new texture UV. Now, move the offset X to create a scrolling effect. Let's add a pinch effect to simulate a great distortion that surround the dwarf. Right click, UV, FX, UV, and select pinch UV. Connect the UV to the animated movement UV. Change the red intensity. If the movement is too fast, Slow down the speed of the animated movement UV. Now, we will add a nice fire effect on the background between the dwarf and the cloud. Right click, RGB, Generate, Effects and select Fire. For a preview of this node, we can simply add a preview node like this. Connect the fire RGB output to the preview node. Now, you have a preview of the generated fire effect. It's look awesome. We can change the precision, the position, the intensity, the speed. It's really a great effect. To simulate the fire colors orange and red, we will add a color gradient effect. Right click, RGB. Gradient and select Permade Gradients. Connect the Fire node output to the Permade Gradient. Let's add a preview node. We will choose this gradient color, it's look perfect.
Now, create our duplicate blend node. Connect the new blend to the second input of the final blend node, like this. Connect the dwarf new texture to the second input of the blend that we have just created. And connect the gradients to the first input of the blend node. The fire is now set behind the dwarf. Let's change some parameters for a better result. Okay, it's look great. Let's view the result in full screen. Now, it's look like a strong character. Let's do another awesome effect on the background with the fire effect. For that, we will replace the new texture of the background with a source new texture. Let's delete the preview background node. Don't worry if the preview is pink it will be fixed soon when we connect all the node correctly. Now, we will add a displacement effect for the background using the fire as a reference. Right click on UV, FX, and select displacement UV. Connect the source with the source input of the displacement node. And the RGB output of the displacement node to the first input of the addition node. Now, let's connect the RGB output of the fire node to the RGB input of the displacement node. If we add a preview node to the displacement output, we can see clearly the distortion effects. Select the right parameters and work with the Y value only. Now the background have a nice distortion effect that follow the fire movement. It's look really great now. Okay to finalize the shader, we will add a nice zoom in zoom out effect. This effect give a better look and intensity to the card. Right click, UV animated, and select animated zoom UV. Connect the UV to the pinch node. Also to the dwarf new texture node. And to the fire node. Now we can choose the right parameters for the zoom effect. Take your time and choose the best result. We always recommend to slow down the zoom effect for a smooth result. The card is now ready. Gunmir is on fire and ready to fight. Thanks for watching.